Hello. So we, I am joined by Zoe Thompson today, who's looking absolutely gorgeous with her with her matching settings. I'm, I'm very envious with my mess in the background. <laughs> Probably quite appropriate to your topic, Zoe. So um, you're presenting at the conference next year, um, and your topic is tips, hacks and support, the online world made easy. Now, if ever there was a presentation that I needed, it would be this one. <laughs> so do please tell us a bit more about yourself and your presentation. So um, first of all, I'm so excited. I hope everyone else is. It's just, uh, it's gonna be an amazing weekend. So yeah, I'm so, I'm so excited to be there. So, um, so the kind of headlines of background very quickly then. So I spent 10 years building my own private therapy coaching business. Uh, I've been an NLP practitioner for what, 13 years or something like that. Um, and before that, I was an e-learning consultant to sort of learning and development for big corporate companies. So, oh, um, right. so this is kind of a blend of those two worlds, really. Yeah. Um, I think when I was building my business, there's a, there's a couple of things that really frustrated me about that world of building a business, marketing yourself, that kind of world. Um, and they were so many people try and sell you their way of doing it. So yeah. it wasn't about m me and what I wanted to create. It was almost like this guru who had the three step program and, you know, you had to if you were going to be successful you had to follow their their way of doing it and that yeah. really kind of frustrated me and um, I think the other thing that frustrated me was we are the helping professions we 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 serve people we don't sell to people yeah so quite a lot of the marketing stuff was all I don't know it felt a bit salesy a bit bombarding yeah. a bit it didn't fit with my ethos of service and helping and that kind of stuff and that really frustrated me um, and the other thing that frustrated me was kind of with my e-learning background, I knew the potential and, and the opportunity of the online technology. Um, but so many people who are amazing NLPers, therapists, coaches, those sorts of people just don't don't know that at all. And it feels very overwhelming. And there's so many options and you end up just sat there procrastinating going I, I don't really know what I'm doing yeah and it ends up wasting so much time and so much money trying to figure it all out um mm. so that's kind of where build it brilliant kind of sits and where it came from in terms of this presentation um I, I want to cut through that overwhelm of technology and I want to put an NLP twist to that and say okay how does your knowledge and your NLP toolkit impact your ability to build a business and use the online technology to do that. Um, where is that helpful for you and where is that hindering you? So it's much more, what do you want to build? How do you want to build it? And how do I help you to harness the opportunities to get out there and build it your way mm. and, and make that easy mm. rather than sitting there kind of, you know, getting lost or, or, or feeling overwhelmed by it all. Yes, I certainly spent a few years in that in that arena, and and certainly, I think back in the day when I was on Facebook, it was that you know every advert that came up saying you need such and such, I'd probably go and buy it. I mean, I'm a, I'm yeah. a, I'm a marketer's dream, I'm sure, but it was that oh they're telling me I must do X, Y, and Z. They're telling me I need this software program, so oh I'll get that. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of them aren't cheap. Yeah. They're not cheap and you end up spending a lot of money and yeah. and and I kind of my question is is that what you need like, yeah do you need to spend that much money is there a solution out there that's free that would do exactly what you want yeah instead of spending that money like you know um is that what's the best way in which to use technology to mm. build a business rather mm. than saying I somehow have a golden answer to something mm. um, it's far more about your creativity your ideas and what you want to build um, and how can I help you do that well, that's how I don't you see I'm equating that to my my background which is finance accounting and finance and, and this so it it sounds to me like you're the online solution to to what I would class as an accounting solution which is mm. where where somebody starts a business and immediately assumes they have to be a limited company that registered all those sorts of things what they don't necessarily need so I've kind of now found my place of comfort with what you're talking yeah. about 
Because yeah. it's, oh, I get it now. Yeah. I understand. So, so what will delegates take away from your session then, Zoe? So I think, I think a conference like this is a perfect opportunity for introspection. I think it's just amazing to step out of your day-to-day -day life and, and come for, for an opportunity to kind of sit and go, okay, what am I doing? What's working? What's not working? And I certainly want people to, walk, to, to be able to do that when they mm. attend my talk. The other thing is I created a four-step blueprint, which is more like, it's more like a framework so that you can then hang your things on that framework, but know that you're hanging them in the right places for the right reasons. Yes. So I'll be going through that structure as part of my talk. So they'll certainly walk away with that. And I think the last kind of big part of it is the clarity so that they're not wasting the time and the money on things that they don't need. So I'd love them to walk away feeling like, ah, right, okay, that's the thing that I need or that's what I'm going to do rather than uh, kind of that overwhelm and waste of money and time that sounds that sounds like a wonderful gift <laughs> <laughs> definitely have some of that <laughs> so is there anything that delegates can do beforehand to give them a deeper experience in your session um i think uh, hopefully the world of nlp uh, allows us to make the invisible visible so i think even just by watching me talking it's probably got their cogs going in terms of okay how does the NLP skills that I know, how does that impact my ability to build a, a, the business that I want to build? Mm. And I think it'd be really good to ponder that question mm. between now and the conference. And I think for two reasons. Number one is, uh, why wait? Let's get started. So yeah. you, why not use the tools that you've got already? Um, I think it takes a little bit of time to sometimes make those shifts and make that invisible visible. So it's a good opportunity to use that time. Um, and I'm big in terms of the, the, comp, the talks that I give, the presentations that I give. I hate just sitting there chatting and getting nothing back. Like, that's my idea of hell. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I would, I would absolutely love for people to come with ideas already and come with things that they want to ask me or they want what answers so that then mm. the talk that I give can be really interactive and really interesting. Um, and I, I, as a delegate, you turn up to these talks and then your mind goes blank and you can't think of anything. So I'd love it if they'd done some of that beforehand so that then when they get there, they've kind of got juicy things to Brilliant. bring to it. And the fantastic thing as well with it, with it being a virtual conference is that, um, that we've got the, the platform, the conference platform. So the interaction doesn't have to begin and end with your presentation. It can carry on after that. that is, we've that got the whole six I, months. <laughs> The, the, the virtual world is my playground and I love the fact for a virtual conference, you don't just get me for a talk. Uh, you know, I don't just walk on stage, give a talk and then disappear. You've got me for the whole weekend. So yeah. that discussion forum is there. Those opportunities are there. I'll be sharing resources. I think it's just an opportunity to like pick my brains as much as you can over the weekend. And yeah. um, however I can help you over that weekend, then I'll do my best. I mean that. that sounds wonderful and, and that's that's really how you're adding value in the virtual environment because you say it's your playground so it's, yeah it's just a bit like come on I'm, I'm ready are you ready you know yeah. what, what can you give me what can I help you with um yeah. and I've not succeeded if you've not left that weekend with your questions answered and uh feeling like you, you I've, I've cleared the mist of the online world and made you feel a little bit more empowered and a little more, bit more confident with it and I've not succeeded if you've not left with that and I don't think that yes the talk will will give you that structure but it's not just about a talk um mm. you know it's about the whole weekend so brilliant so and and yeah I mean as we said because because the um because the platform is open for six months afterwards um then people can watch your session uh, if they don't if they don't join in at the time they've got six months to watch it and presumably you know because the online world is your is your playground you'll be able to dip in and out and um, and yeah, still answer and, their questions yeah and I think that's that's one of the the joys of uh, the the conference is is the fact that it, it uh, so the, when I attended last year it was it, there was so much good amazing speakers and presenters like there's only one of one of you for the weekend there's only so many things you can watch yeah. I had a whole list of them going I want to watch that and I want to see that and I want to dip into that and I had time to do that yeah so even though you're um 
you know, you might look at that conference listing and think, oh, you know, there's three things that I want to do when they're all on at the same time. Um, it's a bit make a note of those and then you can dip back in with them later. Absolutely. And, and, and well, and, and you kind of again sort of what does the conference mean to you? Um, you know, uh, you've said about the the dipping in and out um, and you are speaking at the conference. This is your first time, I think, isn't it? it speaking is. at the conference. It so, is. It's um, really mad, actually. I'd like, I'd like to kind of share with you my, the, the background, the story. So I've been part of a, an NLP forum since I qualified. Uh, so 13 years ago. And the, there was always every time the, the, the conference was on, um, they'd come back full of enthusiasm and excitement and fun and and th there was always a reason why I didn't attend it was like oh it's a whole weekend or oh you know price mm, you know there was always a reason yeah um and then I finally got out my own way and, and sort of like <laughs> hang on I need a bit of this like I need to I need this this joy in my life um so last year was the first time that I actually attended and kind of saw what all the fuss was about really um and it was such an inspiring weekend and it was it was so good and i think the the, the nlp community is such a, a beautiful community yeah. uh, of sharing people who who were just so lovely and i met so many people and learned so many things and tapped into so much information and it really gave me this kind of this buzz and everything so i am absolutely honored to be one of those speakers for for the next one it's it's kind of a bit of a bit of a dream come true for for the 13 years that I've been kind of watching from a distance so um so yeah so anybody that's thinking about it I can't rate it more highly and, and say you know buy the ticket come along because you'll just leave feeling so so good so inspired and empowered and and confident to go forwards there's so many lovely people I can't even begin to tell you how many people you'll meet along the way and then it is it's a, and that's so lovely to hear because um it, and, and I'm so it's so lovely that you are you know you're, it's your first time speaking at the conference and, and that's what we aim to do is have a balance between those people who have been um have been speakers before mm -hmm. that you know the, those people that are very well known in the community but it's just as important to have new faces and freshness um, and, and that's what you know that's what you're bringing um, this year and, and your fellow new presenters for the first time um, and it is it is an absolute joy in fact one of the people I was talking to yesterday said that um, said that that they kind of earmarked who they wanted to see at the conference you know the well-known people and then because they had the opportunity to go back over everything over the six-month period they they sort of went a bit off piste and, and did some of the ones that you know I've never heard of this person yeah and they said that some of their best gems came from the people that they'd actually never heard of um and we're just you know checking them out for the first time so I think and that's that as everybody has something good to offer um, it, it came from all of them came from the heart they came from the yeah. they came from a really good place like yes at no point did I feel that um it wasn't genuine or it wasn't authentic like everybody yeah. was talking about something that they were genuinely authentically passionate about and and sharing and giving so yeah. much and I think that vibe um it, it, it was so such a special vibe to then to then dip into and to keep dipping into and uh, and be a part of so and six months went so quickly <laughs> I was like, hang on uh I want, oh <laughs> <laughs> and then we're ready for the next one so, so yeah, exactly like, ramping up for the next excitement one excitement for the next one absolutely absolutely so I mean we said you know that you're presenting um on Sunday the 22nd of May next year 2022 um you've got a slot at 15 30 BST we'll be back in summertime by then which is good um and you're presenting for 90 minutes so plenty of opportunity to um to really pick some gems out by the sounds of things I'm very much looking forward to it so thank you Zoe thank you for taking the time to um, talk to us today uh, it's been an absolute pleasure oh you are welcome and uh, I can't wait to see everyone there yeah. I'm so excited